Hello world, welcome to Core Artisan Lab. Today I am going to start a Django tutorial episodes. And in these episodes, we will learn lots of things about Django. So this is the first episode. And this uh, and in this episode, we will learn how to create a form according to our model. So I assume that you have a basic knowledge of Django. So if you are beginner, then please watch my previous tutorials. So you will learn how to uh, create a model uh, in Django. So let's start. So in this episode, I'm going to create a student model. And in student model, we will uh, create a fields for uh, registering students. So let's start. So I have already created an employee model. So after the employee model, I will create a student model. class student and in this model start model and now we will create a fields so I will create a full name and in this full name I will put the maximum length and this will be 200 and then full name and then I will put the course equal to model start this will be also a character field maximum length equal to 300 and course and after roll number equal to model start character field maximum length equal to 200 and now we will add our address will be a text area maximum length equal to 200 so I have created a student model and in student model we have defined the fields now we will migrate this so for make migrations okay now we will migrate this so we have migrated the student model now we will run the server now we will create a form according to this model so what will we do we will create a forms.py file and in the forms.py file I will define I will import the model form package and after the model form package I will def, I will get the uh, uh, I am here I am getting the employee model similarly I will get the student model so here I am uh, I will get the student model and after the student model getting I will create a form so what I will do I will student form and pass the model form and define the meta option so meta option will be defined will define my form so form is my student model is my student model and which fields i want to show in a form so i want to show full name i want to show all fields so what i will do i will here define all if you want to uh, show specific fields then you will define uh, this kind of uh, code so you can define these fields and if you define all fields then you will define here all so now we have migrated this and we have created the uh, form now we will go to the views.py and here we will define our student function so what I will do student request and form equal to here I will get the form similarly as employee form I will get the student form so student form and now I will render this in student.html so what I will do, I will create a student.html in templates folder. 
so student dot html and here I will create a HTML file so here I will, what I will do I will create a student form and I will create in a table format so here I will do now we are not passing anything we are not passing a form instance in our uh, view so here we will pass the form now if I write here Django table so what it will be do let's see so before using uh, before going to browser we need to define the route for this so what it will be student and it is also student so now we need to run the server so we run the server okay so now we will go to the this and now we'll go to student path so here you can see that form is showing it as a table so django provides an option to sh uh, show the form in which format now if i will delete the table tag and add here as p so it will show as a paragraph it will show the form as a paragraph so table is a best for uh, structure so i'm using table and now we will add the button submit button now we will add the submit button spend 2 and here I will input type submit so ok so here you can see that we have a created form we have created a form according to our model fields so that this is known as model form so let's uh, give a heading student student form okay and give a hr student form django model form yeah so this is okay now so now what uh, uh, what will we do we will submit this form in our database so how we we will do this so first of all we will go to views.py file and check if uh, first of all we need to define a form tag so we will define a form tag because without the form tag we can't submit the form so action equal to blank because we want to submit the form at the same URL so that it is blank and method equal to post and one thing that is very important csrf token because if you not uh, put the csrf token it will uh, it will show the error you can try that you can try without csrf token it will show the error but i will not try this okay so now here we will check if request dot method equal to okay, equal equal to post then what we want to do we want student student form equal to student form and we pass the requested data so whatever we requested we uh, we passed here okay so now what will we do we will check the validation of this form so student form dot is valid so this function is provided by django if our student form is valid then what we do we we will save the form so this save method will save the data in database so now we will show the message so for showing the message we will fetch the message framework from contrib uh, contrib package and 
we are also uh, import the redirect function so that after submitting the message we can redirect so here i will put the request so form has been submitted submitted okay and we return return redirect student redirect on student and now we will show the message so for showing the message what will we do we will for message in messages and and for p tag message and give it a class not class we are not using bootstrap actually i suppose i am using bootstrap so it's okay so now we can check this form okay let's check this so let's add john course is uh, pca roll number is 123 and my address is uh, lithiana punjab submit so it is not showing anything so messages we are showing message we are redirecting we are success student form request dot post and we have defined the form method and uh, here we are showing the messages message dot success redirecting student and we have defined the student path also okay so what we are doing wrong here so let's add this uh, model in our admin so that we, we can check that uh, data is add, adding in uh, database or not so let's add this let's check this so, main application students so data is not adding actually so data is not adding so here we will show the in models.py course maximum length text field full course so let's let's check again let's add a validation uh, let's add validation on this so what will we do we will add a validation i will copy here so you can see that if formed that error then if any field has error then error will be show here so let's check this submit it's not showing any error so it's actually redirecting so if uh, request dot method equal to post equal to post and the student form equal to student form so i'm getting a student form yes i'm getting a student form and uh, student form equal to student form request student form that is valid then save this so what is wrong here so let's check this again yeah so form has been submitted but uh, i didn't get the error but i didn't catch the error okay no problem but the form has been seen i think the the method will be a in a the method should be in capital because if 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 i keep it small then it uh, it, it is not submitting the data so let's uh, check with the small so that we can assure that the what is what was the error yeah so so matching so you need to put the post uh, uh, in capital letter so that it will work okay so now we have created a form with according to our model 
so this is a very interesting thing that django provides us so let's uh, i hope you like this video if you like this video then please share subscribe and please mention in comment that where you are facing any problem uh, in this tutorial or if you have suggestion for me any improvement then please share in comments thank you